Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Ernest Hemingway's legacy looms all over the world, especially right here in Key West, where he wrote and he fished during the 1930s. Now, every year we celebrate Hemingway Days with just wrapped up this weekend. This morning, I'm going to introduce you to one of the men who came all the way from Pittsburgh for the Papa Hemingway Lookalike Contest, which takes place every year at Sloppy Joe's. Now, before I talk with George this morning, take a look at this year's lineup of Papa Hemingway Lookalikes. Most importantly, I'd like to uh, have everybody go on the Hemingway Lookalike website. And the only thing I can really ask would you gentlemen pick up your pen, cast a vote for me? Oh! Anyway. Good times never seem so good. I'll show you a show you ain't never seen. Oh, I guarantee one minute to win it. I do enjoy fishing, so really all I have is this ace and my gorgeous physique. Thank you, thank you so much. Last year I told you I was hooked. Papa Day is my favorite. And Pete De La Garza. Come on up here, Pete. All right, joining me now this morning is George D'Angelo. He is actually from Pittsburgh. He's a retired Air Force pilot and colonel. He came all the way down to Key West so he could have a chance at earning the title of Mini Papa. George, thank you so much for being here with me today. Well, thank you for having me. All right, George, Mini Papa is actually a term that you created. Uh, yes. <laughs> the actual title is the Hemingway Lookalike contest mm -hmm. and in that in the application they they are looking for mature heavy set bearded men <laughs> and I do have a beard <laughs> uh, I'm not that heavy set and I'm certainly not big like Hemingway so I just figured that all the contestants are fairly large and mature and um, I was thinking well why not have a small guy in her. Mm -hmm. You know, it shouldn't eliminate me, right? <laughs> no. no, they can't do that. No, that would they be biased. Can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like it. Mini so, Papa. And that's what we had. You know, my mamas came down. I had four mamas come with me. Mm -hmm. And mamas accompanied the Papa. <laughs> and they had uh, pictures, and it all said Mini Papa. You know, vote for Mini Papa. Well, I love it. Yeah. And unfortunately, not it, many it, voted for Mini Papa. It kind of ended after the first night. <laughs> but that's okay, George. That's I would have okay. voted for you. I'll be back. <laughs> you will be back. All right, George, <laughs> tell me about this. You decided to come all the way down to Key West just for this contest, so you have to be a fan of Hemingway. I am a fan of Hemingway. He's very inspirational to me. Um, I love Key West. I mean, what's there not to love in Key West? So I've been down, this may be my fifth visit, I believe. Mm -hmm. And the last time I was here, I was standing in Sloppy Joe's by the Hemingway looking like winners. And a guy came up and said, you should be on there. So he gave me uh, the idea that I might look like Hemingway. So then we planned a vacation around it. And, uh, and here I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you're enjoying here. it. You're enjoying it. I'm, I'm enjoying West. it very much. The, uh, the contest is put on by the... Uh, Hemingway Lookalike Society. This is the 33rd year they're doing it. And they give out scholarships, you know, with the entry fees. Last year they collected, I believe, $23,000. Last night, at the uh, preliminaries to the contest, they awarded uh, 10 scholarships worth $1,000 each to uh, uh, kids that are attending the Florida Keys Community College. Mm -hmm. And then they had raffles, and uh, they just earn a lot of money, and they do a lot of good. And there's a camaraderie among the, uh, the contestants. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of them have been competing for 20 years, over 20 years. They get into it, George. They do get into <laughs> it. And it's very unusual that a first-timer mm -hmm. 
makes the finals. That's so, right. Okay. So, so I wasn't really expecting it. Okay. You weren't expecting it. So you are going to have to come back. I have to come back. And who knows, in 20 years, you might be joining me right here talking about <laughs> right. how it's your 21st year and you finally won the finally title. Finally won the title. <laughs> All right, George. <laughs> let's talk about you real quick. Now, Hemingway, obviously, he was a writer. He spent so much time down here fishing, drinking, mm. riding. Living life. Living life. Wow. George, do you have some similarities with Hemingway? Mm, not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. uh, although I do like to write. I would like to write a book. In fact, the first time I came down, I, I came down to get some inspiration mm -hmm. on writing a book. And I'm still getting the inspiration, so it may take a couple more trips. Okay, well, that's good. You've got plenty of time, George. And it's a good excuse to come to Key West. <laughs> that's right. And, and I mentioned earlier, George, that you are a retired Air Force pilot. You're also a colonel, and you spent a lot of time with the United Nations. Tell I us did. about that. I did. Well, I had my military career. It started uh, uh, during the Vietnam crisis and uh, I was eligible to fly so I went into the service and flew and uh, uh, I, I just like to mention because the kids that are going in now you know there's less than one percent of the population now that that enter the service so I just really take my hat off to them and mm -hmm. they're a special breed um, so I did that I flew uh, for some years, and then uh, when I when I retired, I went to the UN. Uh, I did a uh, dissertation on preventive uh, prevention, conflict prevention, and that's what I worked on for about ten years as a consultant to the UN mm -hmm. in New York. Well, you had a big job, George. You definitely did, and and now you live in Pittsburgh. I do. Yeah. Do yes. you have family in Pittsburgh? Yes, now? I do. Okay. Any. Yeah. Yeah. Any kids, grandkids? I do. I have I have uh, three daughters mm -hmm. that are scattered. A couple in Virginia and, mm -hmm. and uh, one in Texas. Okay. A couple grandkids. Well, wonderful. Well, I know they'll enjoy photos of seeing you in the Papa Hemingway Lookalike Contest. Mini Papa. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not a title yet. I know. We've got. <laughs> you got to keep coming work back. On it. I got to keep coming back. All right. And and who knows? It might be for five foot five and under. I mean, he was a big man. Yeah, yeah. He was but like six foot and two, two, two hundred pounds or more. So, yeah, yeah, there does need to be. Maybe there can be a whole nother mini papa contest. Yes. You can be the founder, George. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it's been a pleasure talking with it's you. It's been my pleasure. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I will be back right after these messages with singer Kaylee Baker. Stay with me.